Cam, are you good? Whenever you're ready, let me know. Coach right. Stotts Stott, maybe those final four minutes, they kind of made a furious comeback there. Maybe some preventable mistakes when you get there. Well, I, I thought the thir first 35 minutes we played really good basketball. And, and um, you know, that's th 35 minutes I want to focus on. Yeah, we didn't execute the way we were supposed to the last four or five minutes of the basketball game. Um, you know, we just we had some executional breakdowns, we lost our confidence a little bit, lost our concentration a little bit. But I thought for 35 or 36 minutes we played really good basketball. Um, we did a lot of really good things. I thought Chris Sarbaugh was excellent tonight on Chris Yanku. Um, you know, I don't know when he scored his first points, uh, but it had to be 25 or 26 minutes into that basketball game before he, before he got a basket. And, and I thought that was a difference uh, in in that game. I think he's probably scored his uh, 13. What did he end up with? 13 points. I think he probably scored him in the last four or five minutes of that game. And and I thought Chris did a great job on him. How, how would you assess how Chris did as, as, a, as a point guard going into the round? Well, his stats kind of speak for themselves. I mean, eight assists, three turnovers. Um, I, I thought he really did a nice job running the, the club. I thought he, I said earlier he, he he defended very well against one of the best point guards in the league. I thought he did a good job leading our guys. I was I was happy with the way Chris played. With Perrin out tonight, how important was it to have other guys that could score and make sure that you could still win ball games? Well, it's you know, anytime there's a there's a guy, a good player, our leading scorer, you know, uh, out. Is, is other guys got to step up. But, you know, we got a lot of good players in this program, and, and I thought a number of guys came stepped up their game. I thought Vic obviously really stepped up his game from a scoring perspective. I thought Nate Sherwood uh, getting a start there uh, played very well, 12.7 rebounds. Um, you know, Chad played, played good too. And I thought Nashawn George came off the bench and gave us a good lift. Did you see uh, maybe the Northern Arizona coach maybe complain about uh, Victor Sanders shooting motion of get got fouled three times? I – I, you know, I don't know if he did or not. It, uh, I don't, I don't know how to answer that. I, I, I don't know if he was or not. I was worried about my team. So, uh, you know, we're always, all of us are always getting after the officials. Uh, you know, talk about Victor's performance today. Obviously, uh, thirty-one points on what, thirteen shots. Yeah, well, mine says thirty-three. Thirty-three points. Yeah. On 13 shots. Uh, he played great. Uh, you know, the one thing I've been talking to Vic a lot about is, is uh, you know, stepping up your game, but doing it with just a little bit more discipline, tightening up your game a little bit. And I thought he tightened up his game tonight as far as I thought his shot selection, selection was awesome. Uh, I don't remember him taking a bad shot. Uh, I thought he used his shot fake very well. Obviously, you know, he got fouled a couple times, three times uh, on those three-point shots, and he knocked down those free throws. Vic's a good player, and I uh, was really happy with the way he played tonight. Does that include? How he plays on defense. Yeah, I thought he I played thought he played a solid defensive game. Um, you know, but uh, he, again, he really stepped up offensively. Uh, but, uh, I mean, anytime you score thirty three, I don't know, remember Connor Hill scoring thirty three. Uh, that's a big night. Gave uh, Nate sure with the starting nod today. Yep, he earned it in his practice. And uh, maybe an update on, on Perrion still day to day. It's a it's a foot injury that is you know we're evaluating it as we go. It's 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 kind of an interesting deal. Uh, no one can really tell me exactly what's wrong with it, um, but he's got pain in it, and uh, it's all going to be how he takes to treatment. Um, you know I don't think we'll see him on Saturday night. Obviously we hope to get him back before next week, but we don't we don't 100 percent know. Uh, they've done an MRI. They've X-rayed it. They really can't find out exactly what's wrong with it, but he's still got some pain, still got some swelling in it. So um, it's just going to take some time. Yeah, at one point, led this game by 25 points. You know, uh, what, is, what does it do for your team's confidence when you can't have a lead like that against what you describe as a good team without Perry Nunn? Yeah, I, I think it's, it's a lot, it does a lot for our confidence. I, I thought we played – there was times tonight I, I thought we were really good. Uh, we were really solid defensively. Um, you know, I thought our ball moved very well. Uh, you know, we had a number of wide open looks. Uh, you know, I think it does a lot for our confidence that, that we can play without Perrion. And um, obviously, we're going to have to do that for at least another game. How important is it for you to make sure when you have a home conference game and this is your first one to take care of business because you'll have tougher times on the road? It, extremely important. Uh, you know, you're with what's going on in our league this year with the way Weaver's playing. And. Um, you know, we saw Eastern firsthand and Montana. I think Montana won again tonight. That puts them to 5-0. and You've got to take care of your home court if you're going to keep pace with those guys. Uh, you know, it's, and then you've got to go out on the road and get some good done. 
We were able to win two out of our first three, but we got to take care of our home cooking. How do you think uh, Pat Ingram responded to, to being able to get some time tonight? I thought Pat was aggressive tonight. Uh, you know, I thought he did a good job. Uh, you know, he played, I'm looking at the stats here. He played 16 minutes, uh, one assist, two turnovers, uh, made, made all his free throws pass, a very good free throw shooter. I thought he was very aggressive going to the basket. Um, and, and I liked what I saw from Pat Ingram tonight. Don't obviously, you lost focus late. Were you sort of pleased that, that, it, it, that they didn't lose focus earlier? Because it seemed like any any you was just out of sync tonight. In the it, first half. That's a good good good. Uh, Analogy, Dale. Yeah, I was. I, I thought um, 